mostly in the morning when I wake up. I just don't feel great. And no, I don't think I'm pregnant. We are the Crawfords. We have six kids and are hiking the Appalachian Trail, a 2,200 mile hike from Georgia to Maine. We don't know if we can finish it, but we are doing it together. We just finished breakfast here at Green Mountain House Hostel, and we are getting ready to go outside today for our hike. 83 degrees, but look at this. Day 94 high, and it's so humid out. I wish we could just stay here and eat one dollar Ben and Jerry's all day. Oh, so not a very good morning for me. I've been dealing with some sort of indigestion issue for like the last five days, just mostly in the morning when I wake up. I just don't feel great. And no, I don't think I'm pregnant. But I think something else is going on. Usually it goes away by the time I get started hiking, but yeah, cause I'm kind of burned out by the heat and the bugs, but we've got another town coming up in like three days. So it's kind of, it reminds me of when it was really cold I felt like I needed a break from the cold like every three days or something. This feels the same way but it's only it's heat and bugs this time. We're starting to hike and it, I wish it wasn't so hot out but I think uh, the terrain will be easier than yesterday which I think will help a lot. Everyone's dunking their heads to cool off. Do you know where we're walking to? Hmm? Where? Hostel? No, that was yesterday. Today we are walking to a lake. And I hope we go swimming. Huh? You want to go swimming? Yeah. Alright, let's go. I like a pool there. No, it's not a pool, it's a lake. Oh. But it's 10 miles away. Point three to the top. I guess this is the top of Bromley Peak, Vermont. There's like a ski lift over there. It'd be really nice if that place sold slushies or slurpees or something. But they look closed. We're sitting in the shade and there's a lot of bugs all over the place. And um, my dad just read a bunch of like encouraging comments about me. I don't want to be here. For lunch, we're having peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And then little peppers. And cookies for dessert. Join us for dessert. It says chocolate brownie. Soft dessert cookies, desserts reimagined, and that's... We're just slogging up this hill right now. Sweating like crazy. And Eden, our 15 year old, <clears throat> from the parking lot, uh, was like sniffling and not like sobbing, but like crying, so I, from the beginning of the trail, I'm like, really? This is how this day is going to be? From 10 a.m., we're crying already. This is going to be a long fucking day. And an hour later, she's still just like sniffling. So I try and slow down a little so I don't have to listen to her. And then she slows down. So I'm still just hearing the sniffling. 
So finally, I just said, hey, can you speed up a little bit? Cause I don't really wanna hear your sniffling anymore. I mean, this hike is hard enough for me. And <clears throat> she did. And I think Cammie is kinda, I don't know what she thought about that, but I know I'm gonna get all sorts of angry comments about how bad of a dad I am. Uh, and I think it's actually progress for me because in the past I would have said something like, stop sniffling or crying. But you know, like, I'm okay with her crying. It's hard uh, for her especially, I think, this trail but all the kids and all of us. But right now there's nothing I can do about that. And I don't think she needs to stop. I think she can express herself. I just don't wanna hear it right now. But I also think that um, maybe maturity for me in the future will look like being able to be around that more. I mean, fighting for together, it's not just being together in the good times, but it's also being together in the bad times but I just have to be realistic about what I can handle right now, too. Today was extremely hot. Um, we hiked 10 miles out of Manchester and came to this lake where we ran into hops and a bunch of other people we've been hiking with recently. Um, so we decided to stay instead of go an extra four miles to the next shelter. Um, that was after a discussion. This is our first vlog in July. And so that means we've been on the trail for four months. We have around 540 miles left. And so we're gonna talk, all the kids are gonna talk about what's been different about this month now that we're four months through. What I thought was really cool about this last month, June, was you could really see our progress we were doing like we did a crazy amount of miles compared to the first three months we crossed so many states really quickly what was really slow about the months before is we were in pencil no virginia for so long that once we got out and we started crossing so many states it felt so quick and it kind of feels like the last stretch now. We have a little bit over a month, but I can actually see us getting to Katata now, and it's really encouraging, and I'm really excited. June, for me, was pretty crazy. It seemed to go by really fast. It was kind of the first month where I was like, whoa, we're like really close to finishing. It was a really hard month though, just because we took no zeros. We were doing a lot more miles and sometimes we weren't and that felt like we should be because we're like almost done. Like we've been doing this for three months now. Couldn't we do like 20 miles a day? But so that was kind of hard. Um, it was also hard for me, like we're so close but like not, like we're 
500 and something miles away um, and especially lately it's been hard for me not to just kind of give up like I don't I kind of forget like why am I doing this and I talked with my dad earlier today about that he said um, that I could have the choice to go back with my grandparents, Hamani and Papa, or I could keep going. And I kind of thought, like, we're this close. It doesn't, first of all, I, I'd, I'd like to finish it with my family. And also we're really close to finishing it. So I decided that I'm gonna keep going, but I just have to keep remembering that, like, it's my decision and why I'm gonna keep going and yeah, so that was June for me. This last month, June, it feels like we are on kind of the final stretch and it's just really exciting kind of not having to think too far ahead for like gear and like, oh, I need to get new trekking poles or I need to do this or whatever because it's all gonna be over in like a month now. For me this is the first month that I felt caught up like that we actually have hope of f finishing before going to Washington in time for the camp and that's that's really nice and kind of um makes it a lot peaceful, a lot more peaceful than it was before because I feel like the first couple months I was like, oh my gosh, we need to get more and more and more and more. Oh, but this month it feels, it felt like a little more relaxing and like, okay, we, we are doing what we need to do and we'll probably make it mile-wise unless something tragic happens. We barely paid for any lodging this month. We mostly stayed at people's houses, which is amazing. I love being hosted by just someone you just meet and we met some awesome people. <laughs> um, so that's been really fun. Yeah, so that's my take on June. Last month has been pretty hard. There's been like bad parts and good parts. Uh, yeah. Okay. What do you think about the next month? How do you feel about the next month coming up? The next month I'm pretty excited about. Because uh, we're probably going to be in May. All right. Thank you. Um, about this past month of June, um, so far it's my favorite month on the AT for a number of reasons. The first is I felt like we were most supported in this month, like we only stayed in a hostel like twice and all the other times were people inviting us into their houses, probably got slack packed for like probably like 10 days and stayed at like 15 people's houses and it just felt like we weren't on this AT alone as a family like there was other people cheering us on and that gave me a lot of courage and motivation for Katahdin and the weather has had a huge shift in June it was super hot on some days but I think it's better than being cold. And like jumping in lakes is just like what I've been waiting for in March. And all these dreams on the AT are coming true, like camping next to a lake on a hot day. And so it's making me looking forward to this next month, July.
for Father's Day. Oh, four hundred. Because it's my favorite chocolate bar. Yeah. Look how pulled Am I supposed to be filling this? this like grocery, kind of crappy grocery store. And I doubt I would find it again. Wait, is it so it? No, <laughs> it no, no. <laughs> that's why she's been carrying it for four months. I don't I don't know what. We are just sitting here by the lake. We just kind of disbanded from the fire, and everyone went back to their tents, and so we smoked a cigar and shared a chocolate bar that Eden gave me for Father's Day and it was really cool relaxing mm -hmm. super relaxing mm -hmm. today uh, the story that Eden shared with you guys was really kind of a big deal from my perspective as a parent you know I noticed she said this thing or she said I want to be home I don't want to be here. And I thought, if that's really true, I don't really want to force my kids to do something at this age that they don't want to be doing. So I really asked her, I said, hey, if you want to be home, then we'll, we'll figure out a way to make that happen. Uh, but I would prefer if you were here. And I think that you can make it if you stick it out. And I think you might regret it if you quit. And, you know, kind of offered her some encouragement and let her make the choice. And forced her to kind of own the decision instead of blaming us, like, oh, my parents made me do this. Like, because then she can't take responsibility for her actual actions anymore. She's like, well, I'm just a victim here. So it was really cool to watch that. And it was like hard because I wasn't bluffing, but that you know this is our family we're like setting our, some sort of record possibly it feels like it would ruin the trip for everyone so when i really offered hey if you want to go home we'll make that happen like it wasn't just a control tactic it was really like me deciding uh when i talked to her that her decision and long-term growth is more important than whatever scrapbook event this might be for the vlog or even my own like bucket list feeling and I have a feeling she sensed that and it was also cool because she had mentioned something else um, she quit a goals meeting that we used to have this is about a year ago and and she said she didn't like it and I gave her the choice then I said well fine if, if you don't want to be a part of it you can quit and she I could tell that it had taken her a year to process that she kind of regrets that she quitted that then. Um, but it was really hard for me to let her make that choice then. You know, with, with backpacking with our kids, I, I really don't care if they backpack another day in their life after they leave our house or family. Uh, that's totally up to them. But one thing I'm really happy about and I want for my children is for them to know that they can do it. Um, that they have the ability to, that, uh, that they're capable. And I think a lot of people watching this vlog, maybe they say, leave these comments like, you guys are incredible, you guys are amazing. And what they're implying is like, you're doing something I could never do. And I don't believe that. I believe most people could do this. Most people don't want to do it, but, but most people probably could. Like, it's just like walking. Or and, they believe they can't do it. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I mean. Like, yeah. most people believe that. And I think Eden was believing that today. And part of my job as a father is to coach her and to say, why do you believe that? And what tools can you use to help believe? You know, what I can see in her is I think you can do this. Um, you know, like I said, you don't need to love it, <laughs> uh, but at least know that you can. Okay, so we are finishing uh, June and we're in July now. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's crazy true. because we have July 4th and we have our anniversary and my birthday and July seems so far away and we're like, legitimately in summer now. I never thought this would come. We're like just a little bit over a month of days on the AT and then we're done. This last month was really incredible looking back. Um, so many more people came out of the woodwork and, and helped us. We received incredible amounts of support in the form of food and lodging and just 
every day there was like this theme of we would get contacted like sometimes hours, sometimes, you know, barely days before we, we needed the information of where we were going to be staying next. And opportunity after opportunity happened. I felt like we closed a bunch of loops. Like we caught up with Bill after being separated for two months. We caught up again with him mm -hmm. tonight. Mm -hmm. um, we caught up with the Degenerates. That's the group that we were hanging out with tonight that our kids were dying for two months to catch up with. Yeah, mm. we really did a lot of slack packing this month, and I feel like we're really set up for this next month. I feel like it's not a it's not a handout, or it's not like a slam dunk, but I feel like we're in a good place mentally, emotionally, physically mm -hmm. to do it. So, do you have anything you would like to say? Cammy like does this where she just sits there and looks cute, which I think is great, especially for a male viewership to look at a cute girl, but. Well, and Ben's really good at talking. But I wanted to go over some numbers for our June totals. Uh, we've been doing this at the end of every month. So to recap, March was month one. We did 319.3. Then April, we did 390 miles in that month. Then in May, we did 426, which seemed really huge. Uh, 426.6 and this month June with one less day than May we actually did 498.3 so we like killed it so our averages the first month was 10.3 miles a day then it jumped to 13 in April then May was 13.76 this last month we did 16 0.61, almost 17 miles a day on average. And we took no zeros um, this month, which was kind of weird because we actually did quite a few 24 hour rest periods where we, we, what we would do is Friday night, we would like wake up super early and we'd push it super hard. And we'd arrive at a place around- Friday morning. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Friday morning, we'd push it super hard and we'd arrive at a place sometime in the early afternoon and have a relaxing evening, a relaxing dinner, sleep in, have a nice breakfast, have lunch, hit the trail by around one or two or three and try and get another 15 miles in before mm -hmm. sundown. Yeah. And we figured that out. This last weekend was a little bit rough with that, but I felt like we had a lot of rest, mm -hmm. but we just like hit the miles hard. And for that month we did a total or in the trip total is 1,634.3 miles so far. Trip total, wow. Yeah. So those are the numbers. It's really encouraging. Um, this was the first month we crossed some threshold where in, if we hike the ninth, which is our deadline, we only have to do 13.9 miles. So our, our average need has gone down for the first time. It, for all the other months, it was going up and up mm -hmm. and up and it was getting more and more depressing. Mm -hmm. But it went down for us. That was before today, where we only did 10 miles today. Yeah. 10.5. 10.5. But I think it was worth it. Yeah. I think so. Um, so we are at this for another month now. Um, and then we're basically done. So this was a crazy vlog because this was a tough day and you got to hear from the kids what their reactions are, which we haven't even seen yet because they kind of took the camera and went off. And of course, all this crazy stuff with Eden and I I really go back and forth on whether or not to publish that or to share that, but I think sh she's okay with it. And I think it's really valuable for you guys to see how we deal with one of our children that is the most the least likely to do hiking on her own. And how do we handle almost adult children when their values don't line up with ours or wants, desires? So we will see you guys out on the trail tomorrow. We're going to bed. See you tomorrow. Bye. Hot, you know, I think it's hot. You're late.